I'm out in the woods today for a pretty cool reason. I want to start a new series called Hunter Gathererism. And so, you know, this is kind of trying to live off the land, some methods of how to do so. Um, plan to make, you know, stone tools, hunt animals, try to make fire, stuff like that. So, um, so where do I start on a series like this? What, what do you do? What's one of the first steps to surviving out in the wild? Um, well, I don't know if this is the first step, but I did it anyway. I built a rain shelter. So there's my coat. Um, there's a coat there, but, um, yeah, so it's not completed yet, but there's enough bark there to, uh, like, go over my body, to, um, to keep me relatively dry, especially if it's snowing, um, because it would be easier for rain to get there, through there, than snow, um, yeah, I think, I don't know, but, yeah, you don't have to use bark. I basically, you know, I laid out the... I'll explain how I built it, but um, let me just show you what it's like um, under here. So um, you can see there's some holes here, but under there it's pretty dry. Um, so if you curl up, you know, I think you'll be pretty dry. Uh, like I said, not finished with it yet, but yeah, so let me show you how I built it. So I leaned this against the tree. And then I leaned this against that tree, and so I kind of made kind of like an X, except it's not like an X should be, but it's close enough. And then this support beam here, so this doesn't fall that way, because it's leaning this way. Um, so yeah, basically there's that support. And then, over here, I tried a bunch of stuff with this log, but eventually it stood up, and this actually fell over, but I stood it back up. Um, so it's these three kind of sticks as like a support post for that log there. And then over here, um, so this this one isn't, isn't actually how I originally intended it to be, but it still works. So this was a big tree thing that I tried to lean against here to make, it's kind of hard to explain, but that, it fell over because I didn't have enough hands and it broke. So I used this as a support beam instead. This supports one of the grid lines. But yeah, this is, this supports this. There's two little posts there, supports that big post. And um, then I laid support beams like this. There's support for one, but the other ones don't really have support. They're just kind of leaning on there. Um, see, here's the big support beam in the front um, that kind of leaves that on there. Horizontal and then vertical too. So it's kind of like a grid. And then I laid bark on there. The bark is nowhere near done, but the frame is done. Now it's just time to put more bark on. Maybe fix up the frame a bit there, but this is basically it, so yeah. All right, guys, so there you can see the structure over there. Like a grid here, this is the first bar. You can see it kind of shakes, but it's firm enough. Um, Lay sticks around here and then around here, so kind of vertical and horizontal. For two small children, or for like a six foot one, um, it's small enough, or big enough, I mean. You see, I could just kind of go back here, and then I'm covered by the bark, and I can sleep dry. So, um, of course, there's a danger of the thing falling over. Um, it fell over yesterday because I didn't build it firm enough. Um, so yeah, this is it. 